Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to use PowerPoint to create an interactive postcard. As most school service centers subscribe to Microsoft, creating interactive postcards with this tool is within reach to most teachers and their students. For this tutorial, I decided to use the PowerPoint online tool in Office 365 as it would be the way to use PowerPoint on a Chromebook, for instance. You can do the exact same thing with a laptop or an iPad. So to create my interactive postcard, I will first create a new presentation. I click on PowerPoint here in the toolbar, but I can always click on this little waffle here if I don't see the PowerPoint tool on the left end side of my screen. The first thing I want to do is change the color of my background. So by clicking here, I can click on background and add a color. Oh, but black. I'll remove these text boxes because I don't want them to be exactly this way. Basically, what I want to do now is split this into two parts. Uh, so I can insert a shape. I will take this line right here. I'll try to put it here in the middle as straight as possible. I can decide to change the color of this uh, line. So that's what I did here. And I can also go here to change the size of it. Maybe a little larger. There you go. Okay. To make this interactive, what I basically want is to add a video in my postcard. That's what makes my postcard unique. To do that, I will first have to choose the video I want to use. I chose it on YouTube and I have to copy the link from YouTube. And I will come on insert at the right hand side here. I have video and I want to insert a video that is online. So I'll just control C, control V, control C to copy, control V to, to paste the link and I'll click on insert. So now I have my video in my uh, slide. What I want to do now is insert um, a text box for students to be able to write their text. So I'll put that one here. So as you can see, I started writing, but I can't see anything because my writing is black. So when I click on my writing, I'll see a little tool um, box appear. So I can come here and change the color of my writing or the font. If I wanted to change the font, I would have a bunch of uh, fonts available for me right here. I want to have another text box on the other um, side of my postcard so I can do the same, insert a text box and go put it here. The last thing I want to show you is how to add my stamp because I would like to have a stamp since it's a, a postcard. You can have your stamp already uh, ready in your computer to put here, but you could also click on insert image and search on the web. And when I search on the web, I will type what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a stamp. Let me use uh, this one. Insert. I'll put my stamp right here. So once your postcard is ready, if it was assigned to you in a uh, classroom in uh, Teams, you can go in your assignment and turn it in. If it wasn't sent to you this way, you can come here and share the red button and share the link. So it will automatically create a link for people from your school service center to uh, be able to view. So normally you wouldn't want to change that and send it to your teacher wherever she asks you to submit the link. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Thank you.